Greetings, I'm Rob Chappers. Oh, and I'm the captain. And, and we can't see each other at all, so for the sakes of this video... Um... This is really low-cost uh, CGI split-screen. <laughs> 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 this is how Stevie Wonder and Paul McCartney filmed Ebony and Ivory, isn't it, It's basically? almost entirely not how they filmed Ebony and okay. Ivory. Uh, what's the point of this video, Lee? Okay, so we've gone into the store and grabbed uh, a bunch of very high gain pedals, or at least what I think is very high gain pedals, so that Rob can play uh, the music from his childhood of kind of 90s metal, Metallica inspired sort of uh, dirty rock tones. Some of the music from my childhood. So we're looking to take a clean amplifier, and in this case that clean amplifier is the Super Countess from Victory Amplifiers, via this Chapman Ghost Fret, through a bunch of distortion pedals, metal pedals, that take a clean into a metally tone. And uh, we were gonna blindfold Rob, but given how challenging it is to play the guitar when you're blindfolded, uh, we thought that we would come up with this ingenious uh, screen uh, to prevent Rob from seeing what any of the pedals are so that he can't be influenced Holy. by Hello. <laughs> he can't be influenced by any, uh, you know, branding or relationships that he might have with any of these brands. It's I just like a given straight the gift of sight. Um, what I've done is I've put all the knobs on all the pedals at 12 o'clock, and then Rob can go, can I have more, less, whatever. And if pedals have got switches on them, again, I will just try to uh, utilize those. Uh, in the best way I can. And what we do is we fly through this first bit, so it'll still be quite a long video, but each pedal during the first bit's probably only gonna get 10 or 20 seconds, and then we have a good pile and a bad pile, or a yes pile and a no pile, and then hopefully we'll whittle it down to our final five, then I'll show Rob what the five are, and we can kind of do more of a, those were our favorite five, or his favorite five, and why. Let's commence Chapa's favorite metal pedal. Here's your clean sound. Oof! More game. Love it. Good. Okay, so that's the good pile. Okay, ready? Yep. Go. Could we make it much less bright? Oh, that's actually quite nice. Oh. It's obviously got a lot of, of possible tones in it. I'm gonna say yes. Okay. Pedal number three. <laughs> okay, try Can again. Can I have less treble? If you got all of the wasps in the world, yeah. they wouldn't sound that bad. What, so can you... Can I'll try, you keep make playing. Make it better, I'll... Lee. Yeah. Nope. Uh, okay, <laughs> here we go again. Uh, more gain. more upper mid to maybe treble. Less treble. It doesn't, it doesn't have a cut, no. Fluffy! This is fun. What happened there? Uh, there's a switch on it. From... It's really bright and gang, gang, gang. Okay. It needs a, a little tiny touch of the mid out and a bit less treble. Done that. No, it's too ropey. I'm not even entirely sure that this is a metal pedal, but we shall see. Here we'll we find go. Out. No, that's no, that's that's, that's like not. a TS9. Uh, and here we go. Wait, I need to drink coffee. Hold on. Okay. That actually sounds really quite just like it. It's too treble present. Oh, this, this needs to win for best use of LEDs ever. It 
it doesn't have the metal cut, I'm afraid, Lee. That's such a shame. <laughs> There's a little frequency in it that's kind of spiking, oh. but I reckon we can remove it, and I think it's a good pedal. Wait, wait, where about you want to go? Treble, middle, or bass? <clears throat> it's a treble frequency that's okay. kind of like, it's really spiky, let but me, I let reckon me try you... There it is. That's nice. Another one here. Let's see, I don't know if this is actually the right thing, but here we go. Try it now. That's really slamming the, the tubes, but it's not... Okay. This is very clearly EQ'd and designed to sit on top of a mild crunch. Okay, so we're it's going no. It's not to sit on a clean amp. Nope. Ready, steady, go! More gain. Nope. To be honest, there aren't many pedals that are designed to sit on a clean and give you the sound of an amp. It's not, there aren't many that do that. Go. Nope. Go. Come on, mate. Brr. Really bright. Okay, I'm, I'm, this has got a lot of options. Make Go. it less bright, more okay. gain. Yeah. Tiny little bit less mid. Not, Hold <laughs> on, keep going. Better, yeah. warmer. No. Yeah. Three, two, one. It's lacking low end. No. Okay. Toilet break. Boom! It's a bit muddy. That will never make a metal pedal. Yeah. Wow, this is so simple. It's just got volume and tone. Okay. Go. I'm closing my eyes. I feel like it's white. I feel like it's got... No. <laughs> Keep going. More game. Oh my god. No, 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 no. <laughs> Go! Last mid, just a touch. I think I can shape that one to be good, so put it in the yes pile. Okay, good, yes. <laughs> Oh dear. Do you know what to do with that, Lee? 
Yeah, I'm on it. There's a really fizzy upper mid thing. Okay, we, we hang on, I can keep playing. It's a boss pedal, isn't it, Lee? I'm not saying anything. <laughs> he just did with that, with that little cheeky laugh. <laughs> yes or no? Uh, um, no. I thought so. Go. I like that. Oh, good. Okay. Um. What, what... Got a real present thing, but could you make it less trebly? <laughs> less gain. What? So it's on the edge of being a shit or a great. Um, yes. More game. Yeah. Less trouble. Less trouble. That's more game. Okay. That sounds promising already. There's a frequency, but I can't explain how to get rid of it, and it's a treble focused peak. Can you back off some? Uh, how I'll, many? I'll try whittling controls? some knobs. Two little mid now. Put the mid okay. up. It's a bit better. Now it's good. That's good. Yep. Yeah. I can already remember which one was my favourite. Which one was that then? The one I liked. Brilliant. Again, no idea if this is a metal pedal or not. We're about to find out. You got any more gain, Lee? No, that's maxed. No. Go. Not defined enough. Needs a lot more definition. Okay. It's good, but less treble, please. Uh, more bass. I'm, I'm going to say yes, because I'm intrigued. I, I, I feel like it's got tweakability, but it isn't quite there. It's got tweakability. Boom. Less treble, more gain, more bass. More gain.
it does need a little bit less mid, and then I think we might be. <laughs> Thing with the bass there that was nice. Yes. Okay. Oh yeah, I immediately know I can turn that one into a great metal pedal. Cool. One, two, three, four. Oh! So I'll turn it down a bit. Okay, go. More gain. More gain. Uh, it's too trebly MIDI focused. No, I don't like the order of the harmonics. I'm in it. It's kind of halfway there. It's not going to cut on a clean amp. No, I like that it had a little sort of fuzz element to it, didn't Which it? Which was attractive, but didn't work. Wubba wubba dub dub! Make that better, Lee. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying. Ready? Yeah. I'm gonna give you three seconds to make it better, Lee. Okay, I'm trying. Two, three. No. No, okay. That was a wild card. I didn't know if that would uh, fly or Giant not. sack of sweets, that was. I stopped swearing for my son, so everything's truck off and. Shut the front door. Shut the front door and, yeah. Cheese and rice. Cheese and rice, that's a good idea. Go. That's like a giant woolly mammoth charging at you. Could you scoop the mid just a touch? And could you take out just a touch of the gain? Yeah. No, it's too glassy, it's brittle. Well, it got more of everything that you'd ever need. Could it have a little bit less gain? Yeah. It's got some kind of sub bass thing going on. Okay. And could you get rid of some of the treble? I'm loving how Sorry, eight, I'm loving how the A team just creeps in periodically. Yeah. Uh, I want to say yes, really hard. You know what? I'm going to say yes. Good. Right. Go. <laughs> No. Nope. Hang on, hold on. <laughs> right. Unless you can make it work. Try again, keep going. Sounds like you've got a bunch of switches, yeah? Uh, a few. Take off the bright switch. Okay. And add in the metal switch. <laughs> that one? <laughs> Oh, 
That, that was almost like that was alien, the, alien encounter film recently. Was this one any good though? I tried to talk to What was the pedal before? <laughs> Less mid. I love it with the Miku. I, I, I think it's, uh, I think it's borderline. Borderline? What? Yes or no? Borderline. Like Ma Madonna. Borderline. Borderline. Feel like you're blowing on my, my mind. mind. No. I'm going no. Um, last last one. one. Oh my god. Okay, ready? Yes. <laughs> it's really fizzy. Yeah. Can you make it less fizz? I'll try. Nah. Okay. Just nah. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten pedals that made your shortlist. So oh my do you want to? Do you want to just whiz through them again? Yes. To go. I now I'm going to start with the one that I think I'm going to look for. Joss, do you think that was the one he liked the best, or did you think it was maybe this one that he liked the best? This one. Okay, so we'll put one that we think you like the best in. Okay, so I, I think the one you liked was this one. I mean, that's really good. Yeah, that's okay. That's proper, proper so good. So that's, 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 that's going to be our benchmark. We like if this I one. If I bought that, I'd be really happy. You'd be happy, wouldn't you? Switch back. Less trebly. This is not the one that well, this is this is not the one that you really liked, if that makes sense. Still really good though, man. Yeah, it is. They're, these should all be good. So we keep in both these yeah, in for the time being. Ting. Okay. Barefooted man, find a metal. By the way, anyone who enjoys YouTube should watch Ras Kitchen. It's a wicked cookery program with the Rastafarian guy who makes all these Ital cuisine. It's really, really good okay. to watch. I'm going to try and whip it down so, to three. Three? Okay, yeah. well, you've already picked two that you like. Right, so well, I've got a problem then. Here comes I? a third one then. <laughs> right. <laughs> Well, I mean, yes. <laughs> so. Well, that's your, that's your three. That's my three. Um, yeah, how many have I got to go? Uh, seven more. Oh, good. All right. <laughs> Let, let's try. Let's try the fourth one then. Black's balls taken out. Wow. Do you just want me to turn the balls up? Turn or? the balls up. Take out the treble a bit. Mm, <laughs> no, take it out. Okay, wow, I really Sorry. like that one. It's from where I'm sitting on the floor, it sounded badass. Sorry to whoever it is that makes that wonderful That's okay, pedal. that's okay. I'm sure they'll, I'm sure they'll get over it. Are... These are all basically on the sort of last setting that we had as well, which should be the one that you like. So here we go. It's got a kind of a wah thing going on now. Too, too nasally. Okay, so that's a no, is take it? Take it out, yeah. Take Boom. it out. Boom! Oh. 
They're all good, aren't they? These last yeah. final ten. So it's, uh, it's just to be shortlisted is okay, an honour. Put, put that one in. Yeah, that's a yes, is it? Yeah, I liked it. Okay, we can go with five in the yes pile. I think it doesn't we have to be three. <laughs> A little bit more bass, please. Oh. It's good, it's really good. It's got a staley. Okay. I was going to say, if you're having to think about it, then that, that sh perhaps should be a no. But... No, I mean, I'm thinking because it's really good and I'm, I'm thinking I should be whittling some out, but if I really like them, what am I supposed to do? Difficult one. <clears throat> Go. It's a little bit fluffy at the bottom, so I'm just going to take it out. Okay, and that this literally, <coughs> everything on this pedal to show people at home here was pretty much maxed, so I kind of thought there wasn't right. really anywhere else to go with that one. <sighs> or maxed to the extreme that it would go. Talking of stream, yeah. I'm playing with extreme soon. <laughs> okay. Dorje okay. is supporting extreme in Luxembourg and I'm very honored to be doing. <laughs> no, it's fuzzy fluffy. Make, make it better than it was. Yeah, I know. What's I can't here? believe I chose that. No, I know. Go, keep going. It's got a no low end. <laughs> I would never have chosen that. Are you sure that's one I've chosen? Yeah. I think, it was a border, surely... I think it was a borderline case. But right. anyway, look, right. That's, borderline. So that's gone. That leaves us five. Good. Okay. All right. Now let's do the reveal. I tell you what, here's... Oh. Hey. Okay, you like... So your favourite... Well, I'm not even going to tell you which one your favourite was because it'll obviously colour... Do you want to sit colour. on a stool? Would it be better if you sat on a stool? I will get up in a minute, but just to reveal, Friedman BE Overdrive. Wait, 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 wait. Did I know it was the Friedman? No. Oh. No, Friedman BE Overdrive. Boss ML2 Metal Core. Metal Core? <laughs> Electro Harmonics Metal Muff with right. top boost. Interesting. Uh, Diesel VH4. Right, I have played that one before, that's good. And EVH 5150 Overdrive. Right. So let's which just, was my favourite of all I'm of not going to tell you, because then ah, we can do the summary, on. you see, and then you'll, you can decide if it's still... Because anything that I tell you about that will now... Uh, what's the right word? Colour, Colour your me. judgment. Hey, guys, uh, I guess you've just sat through the selection process, which was, you know, a little quick spin through a whole bunch of pedals on the floor. But I, think I we really about... hope Rory has saved you by chopping it down as immensely as possible. Let's hope so. So, so if you have decided <coughs> to just skip all that, don't worry. These are the five ones that ended up being Rob's favourite. A couple of big surprises for me here, Lee. Yeah, well, the good news is, is they're not all super expensive. So there's a couple of more affordable ones here. Um, couple of sort of upper mid price ones. There's only one that's, I think, broken the 200 pound barrier. Basically, I'd sort of said to Rob that whilst we were, whilst we were doing that final bit, I wouldn't tell him which one was his favorite, but... Um, no, that, that's good because looking at these, I would immediately pick one of them. Which one would you pick? The Friedman. Right, so I guess... Just by looking. I guess, well, look, here we go. I think I'll, I'm gonna turn this one on, see if you recognize the tone. <laughs> I mean, that's immense, isn't it's it? It's a big sound, isn't that's, it, that It's one? a root. For those people who've skipped the first, you know, half an hour of the video, I don't this, blame you. this is our clean sound, so. And again, the purpose was to take a very clean amp, so hopefully everybody at home has got an amplifier that they can get a bland kind of clean sound out Just of. Just plug into your dad's stereo if, you, yeah. if you've not got anything else. Um, so this is the diesel VH4. What do we know about diesel, Rob? Well, I know that, um, not a lot, to not be honest with you. No, not a lot. I, I know they make really good amplifiers, <laughs> but, and this is a really good pedal. It's the VH4. Yeah. It's, it's, I would like to just have a little tweak. For sure. Right. So D diesel, if you're not sure, is a, I'm pretty sure it's a German brand of very high-end amplifiers that have become, or I say have become, I think personally, they've almost kind of 
gone off the radar a bit in the last few years, but at their sort of peak of fame were a real kind of go-to metal amplifier. Anyway, this is the BH4. Bit of a golden plexi. <laughs> Let's do the same thing with great. about a third less gain. That's with the third less gain, Lee. Here's with all of the. Really good pedal. Really good pedal. If you now, want to take a clean sound and make a metal sound, that's a really good pedal. The, the size, I think, is going to be off-putting for a lot of people. It's going to take up a lot of real estate on a floorboard, but it's aimed and on it. This is the honest God's honest truth as to why the size is like this, because it's not you know, it's not because there's bucket loads of components inside. It's literally for people that wear massive biker boots before they need to stomp on their distortion pedal and they can't have, you know, they, they want to make sure they don't stomp on two, you know, like the butt, the pedal next door to it as well. So it's just, a, it's intentionally a big format pedal. Mm. Sounds great. There is a Mark II version of this that's come out um, in the last couple of months, which hasn't arrived in the UK yet. It's not to replace this. It's just like, um, it's got two buttons and more functionality. But this is great. So this is 249 and I believe is our most expensive and if you, if you pedal. if you backed off this gain and then you put a TSO9 in front, you've got your lead tone as well, man. You think so? Yeah. yeah. So that's really, really cool. Really like that. Um, what should we? What, what do you want to try next, Rob? I'm really, really curious to try the muff. Yep, so I think uh, that will be, the, the metal muff will be the cheapest one. You knew, you knew that was coming, didn't you? As soon as you said that word, you just thought, wait for the Danish man to giggle. Okay, so there are three versions of the metal muff. The, the, the pocket one is 52 pounds. The regular micro muff is 66 pounds. The full metal muff is 89 pounds. So it's definitely well, that's really, really good value. Uh, and has got two sections. It actually has got a second button to do boost as well. So let's start okay. with just the regular. Right, now I know I know why it's a metal muff. <laughs> Here you go. The, the it, top boost is, is adding up all the extra highs that you might want for a solo. For sure. Than... It's not really the 80s, 90s metal tone. It's way more kind of the slightly fuzzy Mastodon-y vibe. Isn't it, though, weird that as soon as you actually know what things are mm. and brand and well, everything is... Well, them. Yeah, but this is one, again, that you liked when you couldn't see it. Yeah, no, I like it still. Right. But, but just... I don't like it as much as the Diesel. No, I, I agree. I don't Dietzel. like it as much as Diesel. Um... So let's try the 5150. So do we know why it's called a 5150? Was that, it's I can't uh, remember the an album reason. name, isn't it? Obviously, I so I don't it's know. Uh, okay. Who cares, no one cares. Please comment, why, why, what is the 5150 thing all about? So yeah. here we go. This again has a, a, an on off button, a boost button over right. here and a noise gate built in, which is very cool, so. How do you make the noise get activate more? Is there a, an, oh, that's it. I'm 
gentlemen. What a phenomenal pedal for lead as well as for rhythm. So you've got um, the boost circuit here. Oh, you had the I've boost got, in, sorry. Yeah, no, yeah. that was on anyway. I'll take so. the boost out. Okay. It sounds like an amp with an overdrive in front of yeah. it is what it sounds like. Yeah. Very, very, very good. So these are nearly 200 pounds. So again, mm. it's uh, you know not, uh, not one of the more affordable pedals on here. But speaking of affordable, and without doubt, probably the surprise package. Uh, I didn't see you choosing a boss pedal for this, you know, and, and uh, I think everybody was similarly disappointed that you didn't go for the, the metal zone because, of course, that sounded fantastic. As am I. Um, but I love boss. Reliable. You want, a, you want a great pedal that's going to last, you get a boss. Just not the metal zone. Although, again, boss would say... If Boss even know it's a sort of comedy pedal. It's become a meme. And, and they, and, but they sit there and go, but we have sold like a million of them. Yeah, and so it's, people keep buying them. So it's people, like... People buy them just to put them on a pedal and go, huh, that was a... Yeah, true. <laughs> okay, <laughs> so... Yeah, it's good, man. It sounds all right, it's just doesn't a little it? bit... Um, oh, I see you've got all the mid out. Uh, Let's the mid there's off. No, there's no... Very That's a high control. That's not a mid. Sorry, I meant there high. Is... I meant okay. high. Well, it's high and treble. It's mid and treble, isn't it? And I mean, that's great. It's brutal, that, isn't it's it? It's great, but what's funny is if you turn the distortion off... It's good. It sounds good. If you turn it on, just... It sounds good, doesn't it? Really good. But look what I've done. I know. I've I... taken all of the treble out and yeah. put almost all of the bass in. Yes, I saw that. And that, to a certain extent, perhaps slightly puts me off, because it's to get the sound that you like with something on an extreme <coughs> well, that's setting. that's to get the sound that I like. means you've got nowhere else to go. Um, but uh, £115, so again, not, not cheap. Unfortunately, none of the really affordable pedals that we had, we had a couple in there that were down at like £40, didn't make it in. Uh, okay, B-E-O-D, this is the legendary, um, oh sorry, this is the pedal version of the legendary Friedman Brown Eye. Um, a free, long line of slightly inappropriate amp names. <laughs> um, or, or the modded version of this, the hairy brown eye. Right. I'm not making it up, guys. It's the, it's the truth. Uh, so here we go. Sorry.
great. It's a good it's sounding a bell, isn't it? a little bit bright. I thought this was another... When we, when we refer to things as the golden plexi effect, there's a brilliant, brilliant little sort of Tone City pedal that basically just sounds good, at, but the, wh wherever you set the gain, nothing just changes. Anything, though, so there's a, there's a few of these, again, where really wherever you set the gain, it just sounds full on. <laughs> I, I really like it, but can I be kind of a little bit... I prefer the metal core. Do you know what? I mean, I think I all these... Th this is, for me, this is the one that sounds the most like a heavily driven oh, yeah. guitar that's amp. Oh, yeah, that's absolutely genuine. Uh, that sounds like a pedal. That sounds like a high-gain pedal all good. with fuzz. They're all really, really yeah, they're good. they're all good. But for my needs, funnily enough, although I wouldn't have ever chosen it yeah. by looking at them, I would have gone straight for this. The metal core fulfills what I need way more. Wow. And what was interesting is backing the guitar off, it had a great crunch tone. Um, I think the diesel is is right up there. In, in, for me and my needs, it's the metal core first, believe it or not. Diesel, uh, EVH, Friedman, Metal Muff. Fair enough. I would go diesel. I'd probably go that one. Ironically, I'd, I, don't, oh, I don't know. But you're not a metal not, Yeah, it's not, none of them are really metal my... band. So here's the last one then. What, which is your favourite one of these? And then we'll literally just go, but when all is said and done, <laughs> do you buy a pedal or do you just get an amp with a big right, distortion Right, put sound? the metal core in. Okay. Really now surprised. again, we haven't, uh, we haven't really picked uh, an amp that perhaps, I mean, the, 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 the Overdrive on the V1 Thay has got plenty. It's not necessarily an amp that I would sort of go, yeah, that's synonymous with like, you know, a 90s metal tone, but we'll see. So here is. Again, before we do, why isn't. Why does everybody think that the metal zone is, is Boss's attempt at doing metal? Because this is way better. It's and way better. Like, and this yeah. has been around for a few years I at least. I feel like this might be the unsung hero of Boss's is. metal it's zone. It's almost yeah. like Boss have gone, we know we can do a better job of the metal zone. Here it is. But just yeah. because the metal zone is so famous, let's just leave it You know what catalog. I think it might be? I think it's because it's called metal core. And I think Jeez. the thing is there are... Is that they, that core type? Well, metal core is, 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 a, is, is a genre, genre of metal, and I think what they've done is they've pigeonholed it in a certain yeah. way. People that don't play metal core will be like, I don't play metal core, yeah. I'm not buying that pedal. If they just called it metal yeah. or metal zone two, I yeah. think people would have been like, right, cool. Metal zone two. I, went, that's like, I mean, that is one of those, what do you do with a brand like metal zone? It's like so famous, and yet for potentially all the wrong reasons. But anyway, look, so, um, so I, I'm going to stand up. This versus the amp. So, um, now, obviously, what we've got on the amp is a completely flat EQ, and we we're doing it all so from scoop the pedal. a little bit of mid. Yeah, so that's what I was going to say. We're, we'll have to do a. Yeah, we'll yeah, have yeah. to have a bit of a fiddle around. Right, flip it. So here is uh, with the EQ flat, and again the overdrive just at twelve o'clock. <laughs> So it needs more gain than it needs the EQ to be. Well, we have got more gain. And what, what about on the EQ? So the, it's a little bit... Um, Less mid-range? More no, trouble? more no. mid-range. More mid-range, okay. Enjoy pedal on, too much sleep. pedal on, quick, go. Okay. No way. Oh, but you got the EQ change. Okay. Well, the, the amp's are an awful lot better. The amp obviously. wins. Yeah, the amp wins uh, a lot. Try it again. Uh, okay. Turn the pedal off. Pedal's off. I know you liked the metal core the best, but I thought this one sounded the most authentic. So let's just do that. I mean, in fairness, you know, these, any of these pedals are massively cheaper than buying the amp. Um, but let's just try this one again. So clean, clean with a flat EQ coming up. 
Okay, ready? Boom. Misses a bit of the thump that the amp's got. I know, got. so turn the pedal off. Uh, it's really hard Go. to switch. More, more mid, just a bit more mid. Yeah. Well, there we go. So, in the end, we have rather unsurprisingly discovered that the uh, gain sound of a good amp that costs you about £1,400 or something <laughs> is our favourite well, tone. We, we already know that because I anyone, in, in, what, myself, Rabia, Joss, all the guys with the yeah. heavy stuff, we just use amp gain to, unless it's to be solo, fair, we use a boost. To be fair, this yeah. is trying to be a, a really, really good yeah. valve amplifier. This is based on a really, really good valve amplifier and this is based on a really good amplifier. So all, all that is happening here is it's saying, if you haven't got 1,400 pounds or 13, I can't even remember what that is now, but whatever, more than a thousand to go and spend in your amplifier and you've just got like a- Any clean you know, Any clean amplifier, you can get pretty close get with that. one of the following. Because um, how much is this? 115. Oh, we had yeah. everything here from about 89 pounds through to 249. Um, if you liked any of the, the pedals that were on the floor uh, that you that we discarded, uh, they're all available from Anderton. So I'll, I'll put a link through to the Anderton. You know what I should do with this? I should play an ML2 through this. Oh, ML2 into an ML2. Is there an amp called an ML2 as well? That if would there really is, the stars would align then. We have the Holy name. Trinity right there. Anyway, right. I've been the captain. I've been Chappers. We'll see you next time. Hey everybody, thanks for watching the Andertons Guitar YouTube channel. If you're a drummer or a keyboard player or interested in music technology, you might find one of our other channels interesting and I'll put details of those in the description below. If you want to find out more about the products we've just featured, please click here. If you'd like to buy a t-shirt like this, please click here. If you want to watch another video on our guitar channel, click down here. And to subscribe to our guitar channel, click here. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you next time.